What is up everybody, it's Cobes here and today I'm back with another Fortnite video. In today's Fortnite video, we're going to be ranking every single glider from worst to best. This is going to be a long video because there's 33 different gliders. I might try to shorten it up a bit just by like breezing through the first 15. We'll see if I actually do that. I'll just give a short description of why I like or dislike them for the first at least 15 and the top. 15 I'll probably say why I like them a little bit more and describe it a little bit more But there are a few new Easter gliders coming soon I didn't want to add those just in case they actually don't come to Fortnite at number 33 We have the Raptor This one has to be my least favorite by far It's basically dark green and like a whitish gray color that really does not look good Like these colors are so ugly it could have been bright green and then white, just completely white. I think that would have looked a lot better, but this kind of army color looks disgusting. At our number 32 spot, we have the Sir Glider the Brave. This is from the Season 2 Battle Pass. I had to use this glider so often, and I really do not like the design of it. I feel like it's very outplayed and very overused, especially in Season 2, and that's why I had to put it at this 32 spot. At our number 31 spot, we have the Aerial Assault 1. This is very similar to the Raptor, in my opinion. It does have an orange star, which is okay, but the surrounding colors around it look like vomit and shit mixed together. <laughs> like, that is the most disgusting color that I've ever seen in my life. I dislike it very much and I think it deserves this spot. I think 31 through 33 are just disgusting. 30 and up, they're a little bit better, but still the 30 through 20 aren't that great. At our number 30 spot, we actually have a glider from a video I recently made about the rarest items in Fortnite. We have the Mako. The Mako is very rare, but there's not much going on with it, and even though it's rare, I don't think it deserves a spot on this list, very high up at least. At our number 29 spot, we have a glider from Save the World. Just because it's a little bit more rare, because not many people have Save the World, does not mean it's getting any um, special treatment. I'm going strictly on looks for this list, so the Founders Glider is at number 29. And the only plus side I would say to this glider, it doesn't have shit brown and vomit green. And it has a burger on each side of the glider. I think that looks pretty cool with the tongue sticking out. I like that, but it, it doesn't give it a top spot on this list. At number 28, I gave it to the Wasp. The Wasp, now looking at it, it doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty clean right now. At least the other ones, you know, they looked very messy and just out of order this one looks a lot more clean so I could actually see myself getting this one just because it was very cheap but I really don't buy gliders very often I do think this one's alright but I just don't think it's special enough to put higher up on this list at our number 27 spot I would have to give it to high octane the only reason high octane isn't higher on this list is because it doesn't have much going for it. It looks pretty clean. Again, it looks smooth, just like number 28, the Wasp. But High Octane is just basically black and then gray strips going through the middle of it. I don't think it looks that great, guys. What do you think? At our number 26 spot, we have the Warthog. Again, it has that vomit kind of color. But I think this one looks a little bit cooler than some of these other ones. It actually has like a square kind of theme going for it. There's just a bunch of square shapes inside of this glider with a bunch of different colors, even though they're mostly greenish colors. I still think this one looks better than all the ones I've stated before. At our number 25 spot, we have a Twitch Prime exclusive glider. This one looks really clean, and I think it looks similar to the Warthog. It has a similar design, but I like the colors more on the Slipstream way more than the Warthog. At our number 24 spot, we have the Stealth. The Stealth, I, I again, like these colors a little bit more than some of these other gliders so far. At our number 23 spot, we have Modern. Modern is one of the first ones where there's some color to it. I think that's the only reason it got such a high spot on this list. It's kind of basic, but the yellow color definitely makes it stand out, and that's what I'm looking for in some of these gliders. At our number 22 spot, we have Fighter Kite. Fighter Kite, I mean, look at it. It looks all right. It's It has a bunch of different colors, green, red, yellow, and blue, and then white in the middle and on the backside. 
I think this one's really clean and I like that there's some different colors going on on this glider. At our number 21 spot, we have a Snow Squall. Snow Squall, it looks like a glider to me. Like this texture of it actually looks like a glider or what a glider would be. And the colors go really well with this glider, I would say. At our number 20 spot, we have Carbon. This one, I thought a lot of people thought was very basic and they didn't like it too much. But I think this goes very well with a lot of different skins. I think it goes well with Elite Agent, with the Dark Voyager, or with any other black skin out there. At our number 19 spot, we have Get Down. At this point in the list, this is the most creative glider we've seen. I just personally don't like the look of it, even though I think it's um, a lot more creative than the other, what, 12, 13 gliders we went over so far. I still don't personally like the color too much, and I think it looks a little bit weird, but I had to give it this spot just because I think it's better than all these. I think it's more creative than all the ones we've talked about but I still don't like it that much. At our number 18 spot, we have the St. Patrick's Day Glider. This one actually looks like they put some work and effort into it and they didn't just slap on a bunch of colors in random orders. I actually like this design a lot. I still don't like it more than all these other 17, but I think this would be a glider I'd buy just because it's, you know, St. Patrick's Day, even though I can't buy it anymore, but still, you guys understand. At our number 17, at the number 17, we have Cozy Coaster. This one just brings some holiday cheer to me. I love this design so much. It looks like a Christmas sweater on top of this glider. At our number 16 spot, we have the Voyager. This one looks like there's yellow tin foil on top of this. I kind of like it because the, you know, Na the NASA symbol is on each side, or at least what I would consider the NASA symbol. I actually don't know what the NASA symbol looks like, but if I were to think of NASA, that's probably what I would think of on each of the sides of the glider. But I like the tinfoil, you know, maybe, maybe they're pointing out something to us. Should we wear our tinfoil on top of our heads, just like it's on top of the glider? I don't know. At our number 15 spot, we have the Zypher. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like some graffiti on top of a glider. I love this design and it's so colorful. This is probably one I would buy just because I like it so much. I just don't think that it compares to some of these other designs though. At our number 14 spot, I gave it to Stage Dive. Stage Dive just has a bunch of shit going on with it. It's basically like a bunch of different gliders stitched into one. I love that design. It's going crazy right now. It's raging. It's, you know, rock and rolling. I don't know. Fuck it. At our number 13 spot, we have Petunia. Petunia just has a bunch of different flowers with a pink glider. I really like this design for some reason. I think the color pink really stands out, especially inside of Fortnite. So I think most of these pink gliders deserve a high spot on this list. And I had to give it to Petunia. At our number 12 spot, we have Road Trip. Road Trip, it's pretty basic, but I like the wood panels on each of the sides of the glider. And then, you know, just the pretty basic colors. It's like a blanket almost on top of a glider with the white, white lines going through it and then the red squares. At the number 11 spot, we have Half Shell. This really reminded me of Ninja Turtles, so I had to give it this top spot, and I think it's creative as well. At our number 10 spot, finally we're getting into the top 10. It seems like I've been doing this list forever, but we have Prismatic. This one is pink and blue, and I love how shiny it is. That's basically the reason it got this top spot. At our number 9 spot, we have Blue Streak. This is only for PlayStation Plus players, sadly. But I love the skin with this glider as well. I love both of them so much. I don't really know why exactly, but I think the blue and white go perfectly together. And if I were to get that skin, I would definitely use this combination all day long. At our number 8 spot, we have the gumdrop. This thing is in the shop all of the time because I think so many people love this design. It's... What, what can I really say about this? It's all red. It looks like a gumdrop. It's pretty cool. At our number 7 spot, we have the Royal X. You might be surprised about this. Maybe it shouldn't have been as high up on this list as it is, but personally, this is one of my favorite gliders. I didn't put it so high up there just because I think people would get upset, but I think this is one of the best gliders in the game. At our number six spot, I gave it to the Rainbow Rider. 
The Rainbow Rider is a great skin. I love the animations on it. I love rainbows. I love stars. I love clouds. I mean, it is great. At our number five and four spot, I would say we have pretty similar designs. They're both skulls on top of gliders, so I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You know, I like skulls on gliders, whatever. At our number five spot, we have the Jolly Roger. This one is the more deadly of the two, I would say, at the four and five spot. So Jolly Roger is basically a black glider with a skull and crossbones on it. I love that design, but let's get on to number four. I think this one's better. We have Hot Rod. I would say this is one of the best gliders. I would say this is the second best regular looking glider out there. There is one at number three and then the top two I would consider not really gliders, but I would put them on this list just because they are considered gliders, but they don't look like them. But this one is a flaming skull that's screaming. I love it, man. At our number three spot, we have the Cloud Strike. I think this is a fan favorite. There's literally lightning bolts streaking across this glider as you're landing. I love it, guys. I think most of you people do as well. It's very creative, and I think they should definitely take from this glider and make more. So at our number one and two spot, I really didn't know what I should decide. Should I give it to one of these gliders, or should I give it to the other? I gave, at our number two spot, the Royal Dragon. I love this one, do not get me wrong. This was very close to the number one spot. I feel like this is the most, one of the most creative designs ever. And all of the, or most of the uh, holiday gliders are very creative. But I would give the Royal Dragon this number two spot. And at our number one spot, we have the Bear Force One. This thing looks insane. It looks absurd. It doesn't fit in this game, but that's why I love it so much. There's just a huge fucking teddy bear sitting on top of your glider wings. I think this one looks so ridiculous, but it definitely deserves this number one spot. Tell me what you guys thought about this list. Did you totally disagree? Did you agree on some of the points? If someone leaves a full list of all 33 gliders in their order, I will pin their comment. So if you guys care about that, if you want your comment pinned, you guys understand the rules now. Whoever does it first gets that pinned comment. And whoever does it afterwards, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what I think about your opinion. Maybe I'll think it's shit. Maybe I'll think it's correct, like my opinion. But I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Drop a sub. Drop a like. Bye-bye.